What's going on everyone, Lalit here. My American Express green card's annual fee recently hit, and with that, I wanted to call up Amex to see if there were any retention offers on my account so I could consider the possibilities. Today, we'll be talking about the retention offer I got, as well as the logic behind making my decision. But just in case, and feel free to forward with the timestamps below, the initial part of this video is the overall overview of the American Express green card, followed by the retention offer and everything else that goes with it. So with that, we'll get straight into it. Starting us off, we got the sign-up bonus of 30,000 points after $2,000 in spend within the first six months. The normal offer is 30,000, and at the time of this recording, you got a sign-up bonus of 45,000 points. Translating these points into a dollar value, as each ecosystem has a different value for points, with American Express, it's really a target to get two cents per point. And so with the normal offer being 30,000 points, or AKA 30,000 cents, you're talking about at two cents per point, 30,000 times two equal to 60,000 cents equal to $600. And with this elevated bonus of 45,000 points, you're talking about 900 US dollars. With $900 of value that you get with $2,000 of spend, Doing the math, you're talking about 45% return on spend. American Express's points are known as membership reward points. And with the Amex green card, you have some bonus multipliers on specific categories of spend. You have three times points on restaurants, travel, as well as one point everywhere else. Under the umbrella of restaurants, it's inclusive of items like Uber Eats, Grubhub, DoorDash, etc. And from a travel perspective, you have three times points on items like Uber, as well as Lyft. And specific to airlines, one thing with American Express in order for you to get that three times points multiplier is to book through either AmexTravel.com or directly with the airline, aka no Expedia, Orbitz, Priceline, Booking.com, etc, etc to get that three times multiplier. When it comes to benefits, American Express is top tier and one of the leaders in the industry for the benefits that come along with their products. We'll be going into the benefits, and as a heads up, the American Express green card comes with an annual fee of $150. Starting off with the featured benefits, you have a couple $100 credits, and depending on the value you get from them, it could offset that annual fee. First, you have the $100 clear credit. Clear is essentially a way for you to get through airport security faster, and there's more detail on screen. Next, you have a $100 lounge buddy credit, and if you're familiar or have heard of Priority Pass, this is essentially not that, but a way for you to have credit to enter certain lounges and be reimbursed up to $100. Moving on, you have travel benefits. Feel free to pause as there's extra information on screen, but at a high level with the Amex green card, you have baggage insurance, car rental loss and damage insurance, global assist hotline, as well as trip delay insurance. Speaking about travel, American Express's points, AKA their membership reward points, can be transferred to both airlines as well as hotels. From an airline's perspective, you have quite a few options. You have Air France, you have Asia Miles, which is Cathay Pacific's mileage program. You have Delta Sky Miles. You have Air Club, which is basically Air Lingus. You have Aero Mexico, Air Canada, Mele Miglia. You have ANA, ANA is Japan Airlines, or all Nippon Airways. You have Avianca, British Airways, Emirates, Etihad, Hawaiian Airlines, Iberia Plus. You have JetBlue, you have Qantas Airlines, you have Chris Flyer, AKA Singapore Airlines, and you got Virgin Atlantic. From a hotel's perspective, you have choice privileges, you have Hilton Honors, as well as Marriott's Bonvoy program. And if you look carefully, as you can see, there's kind of this bonus that are sometimes seen temporarily, whether it's airlines or hotels. And as you can see at the time of this recording, both Hilton and Marriott have a bonus where if you transfer your membership reward points to their program, you actually have a bonus. Finally, you have shopping benefits. And at the highest level, you have purchase protection as well as extended warranty. One of the USPs, AKA unique selling points of American Express's credit cards is that they have something called Planet. Planet is essentially a way for you to have purchase as well as payment flexibility. And although it's a unique selling point of American Express, Chase as well has a similar benefit. At a high level, how it works is that you can choose a particular transaction and then plan how you're gonna actually pay it off. And so in this example, you have options of three payments or six payments or nine payments to actually pay off that total amount. Like many things in life, it's not actually free free, AKA it's not 0% interest till you're able to pay it off, but rather there's a baked in fee, but they make you aware of it right before you actually confirm to choose that, hey, I wanna plan it this way. And if you consider, hey, what's the catch? There's extra information on screen, but in general, it's basically not available on all American Express cards, but it is here with the green card. And more than that, certain transactions are excluded from the actual program as a whole. 
And there is a limit on how many planet plans you can have at any given time. And you can have up to 10 payment plans active at any given time. And there's a daily limit of how many paid payments you can make. Coming to our retention offer that we got from Amex for my $150 annual fee hitting on my account for the Amex green card, it's important to understand some context as everyone's situation may not be the same and retention offers can be personalized slash customized by Amex depending on certain accounts. AKA as it's best said, YMMV, AKA your mileage may vary. To start us off, I had the American Express Platinum Card and with everything with the Rony Rona that happened last year, Basically, I wasn't getting max value or didn't feel that I would be with the American Express Platinum card, and so I chose to downgrade it to the green card. When I downgraded from the Platinum to the green card, I had never had a green card before, and American Express has its language of once in a lifetime sign-up bonuses, and so although I knew that I was forfeiting this potential sign-up bonus with the green card if I were to apply as a fresh applicant, it was better than me paying the annual fee upfront before all the benefits came out with the Platinum card last year, and so with all the knowledge I had at the time when I downgraded, I chose to go from the Platinum to the Green, and that's how I got the American Express Green Card in the first place. For extra context, which is valuable to this conversation, essentially, I also had the American Express Gold Card, but I was using the Gold Card in such a way that I was getting enormous value, and so downgrading from the Platinum to the Green was a no-brainer compared to downgrading from the Gold to the Green. I'll put some information of the Green versus the Gold versus the Platinum on screen, for anyone still watching that isn't aware of Amex's ecosystem to get a bigger picture as a whole. The fact that I always had my American Express Gold card in my wallet at all times, if you look at the categories between the green and the gold, essentially the gold was basically capturing all my spend that I would get that bonus multiplier of 3x on the green card, but I was in fact getting 4x with the gold card. Like this, I basically never used my green card throughout the whole year except maybe a couple times on certain Amex offers, which made sense. When it comes to retention offers, and if you have some experience with this, you'll know that if you don't spend anything on the card in general, it's kind of like, hey, why would the company retain you in the first place if you're not giving them any business? That being said, I was still spending on the American Express Gold card throughout the whole of last year and inclusive of this year, so if you look at my account as a whole, potentially I'm still a valuable customer to American Express. Giving all this context is to bring home the point that everyone's situation could be different and everyone's account value in Amex's viewpoint could also be different. So with that, I called American Express and informed them that, hey, my annual fee had just hit and I wanted to ask if there are any retention offers on my account. They usually say the similar lines of trying to make you stay with them, which is basically saying that, hey, there's some benefits that come with the card, there's some spend multipliers that come with the card, et cetera, et cetera. And I kindly told them that, hey, that's all well and good, but I have other cards that are doing me just fine and just wanna understand what are my options. And this is where I was pretty surprised because at the highest level, you have the American Express Platinum at a $550 annual fee, then you got the American Express Gold Card at a $250 annual fee, and then you have the American Express Green Card at a $150 annual fee. I state this because the American Express Green Card, to my understanding, is the bottom of that downgrade potential, AKA there is no no annual fee card, and at this time, I'm still not ready to go back and upgrade back to the American Express Platinum with everything going on with travel. And this is where the representative told me that, hey, there is actually the $55 American Express green card. You can not apply for it as a fresh applicant, but it's something you can downgrade to. This got me thinking that, hey, if I choose the $55 annual fee version of the card, which comes with no benefits, nothing whatsoever, at least my credit history and everything would be intact with American Express such that I could still upgrade back to the Platinum maybe next year. This way I wouldn't cancel my card. I do pay $55, but it's kind of that placeholder cost for me to upgrade for the next year. I genuinely thought it was not a bad idea to just do that such that I don't need to put a fresh application next year, AKA I wouldn't need to actually run my credit. But then lo and behold, the representative did say that I had something on my account and this was the retention offer I got. It was spend $1,000 in three months and get 12,500 membership reward points. I'll talk through my logic and put some information up on screen. The annual fee is $150 and the retention offer I got was spend 1K in three months and get 12,500 membership reward points. To me, those 12,500 membership reward points at a value of two cents per point is worth roughly $250. Doing the math, the net value from that is $100. The way I look at it is that all of this spend, this $1,000, would be organic spend, AKA I don't need to go above and beyond in order to hit the spend threshold in order to get those points. So with that, I chose to take the offer 
And also considering the fact that if I spend not even $1 extra throughout the whole year till next year, I'll still be okay and coming out in the green. Whether or not you were looking for attention offer potential with the Amex green card, I hope this overview was both insightful as well as helpful. And with that, you know how it is. Thanks for coming to the end.